Who is your favorite superhero? And if given the chance to have a superpower, what ability do you want to have? Like Wonder Woman. He has the shield and the rope. And then, and then Wonder Woman uses her shield to protect herself. My favorite superhero power is Thor's lightning. Because with just one strike, it can kill a lot of enemies. So quick. My favorite superhero is Wolverine because of his healing power. How about you, Jace? My favorite superhero is Batgirl because of her. Her superpowers are photographic memory, reflecting, and acrobatic skills. A piece. A piece. My favorite superhero is Wonder Woman. If I have a superpower, I would like to fly to fly to different countries. Hi, I'm Father Jun My favorite superhero is the Ancient One in Doctor Strange because the Ancient One is a very wise person. He encourages others to discover their powers and their strength. And also, the Ancient One is always an aiming doing the right thing. I like Spider-Man and I want to have a spider blast. My favorite superhero is Black Widow and I'd like to have superhuman speed. My favorite superhero is Batman, but if I'm given the ability to have his teleportation to avoid being late. My favorite superhero is Superman because I want to fly. The Flash. The Flash? Why? He's my favorite superhero because he can run fast. You can run fast. Is that what you like? The superpower? Yeah. Incredible Hulk and the power of strength. I think I would choose my mom and my dad just because, you know, like Batman, they don't have <clears throat> like natural fighting abilities, but um, for me, they have the ability to take care of me and provide for me. And I think that's um, a really big power that, you know, I wish one day I could possess. My favorite superhero is Iron Man. Uh, because he is so cool and uh, I want to have the superpower of uh, teleportation so I can go anywhere at any time. Me? I am most interested about bilocation for it is one of the gifts, the attributes that was given to Saint Padre Pio Petrolcina, my favorite and my patron saint whose feast day we are celebrating this Wednesday, the 23rd of September. Hi, my name is Brother Pio and welcome to Repeal Lections. Today, let me tell you how I attempted to do by location. By location. By which means to and location which means place. Being in two places at one time. This is one of the gifts that God grants His saints like Saint Anthony de Padua and Saint Padre Pio. In order for them to bring out works of charity and mercy. Padre Pio in many instances was claimed to have visited many people in their deathbed or someone who was sick or in the middle of the war to bring the message of God's love, peace, and healing. And this is why I'm engrossed with this ability to bilocate. So last year on a good Friday while I was on my clinical placement in a town north of Victoria called Cobram, I walked 15 minutes to the border and borrowing the idea from the movie A Walk to Remember, I place one foot on, in Victoria and the other foot on the side of New South Wales. And voila, I was in two states at one time. <laughs> but friends, we don't even have to do the crazy thing that I did. We are always bilocating in many instances. How? By being physically present but mentally and emotionally absent. In many cases, this could be in our dinner table with our family or perhaps at work when we think about home, or at home when we think about work. In other instances, it could be at church. And one of the biggest factors that's allowing us to bilocate in a bad way are our smartphones. They are too smart, they sometimes they make us look like we are stupid. And I'm guilty of this. In many instances, I would be scrolling on my Facebook, laughing out loud in my head, not knowing that my wife is already talking to me. Sorry, mom. I'm still working on that, working hard on that. But there's even a worse version of this. It is by being alive today, but living with a regret of the past, or much worse, worrying too much about tomorrow. Friends, this week, let us ask God's grace that we may be able to forgive our past 
and also let go of the worries of tomorrow so that we can identify and enjoy God's blessings for us today, this week, at the present. In Matthew 6, 34, Jesus said, Do not worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about tomorrow, for each day has enough trouble of each own. And let us remember what St. Padre Pio said, Pray, hope, do not worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful, and He will hear our prayers. This week, let us be more grateful of what we have now, for let us remember we may never pass this way again. St. Padre Pio Petrolcina, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you in the next recollections. Take care, God bless, and enjoy the blessings of today. Click and like and subscribe.